Hello, good day viewers. Uh, I think it is necessary that I should discuss about major of this fashion on the on group data before going to uh, group data. Um, unlike major of central tendency, major of this fashion is also called major of variation. It is concerned with the degree of separate of data. It measures the variation that occurs in a given data. So there are a few examples of this major of this fashion, which among which are the range. We have the quartiles. We have mean deviation. We have variance and the standard deviation. But in this tutorial, I am going to restrict this discussion based on mean deviation, variance, and the standard deviation. Suppose we have a data 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Suppose this is a data we have for range. Range is the difference between the least value and the highest value. So in this uh, set of data, the range the range is going to be of 10 by taking the difference of 12 and 8, uh, which is equal to 4. So the range of this data here is 4. What quartiles does is this. It divides a distribution. into four parts for mean deviation which is also very important in statistics on the measure of this fashion the mean deviation is an arithmetic mean of all the absolute deviation from the mean is the sum of all the absolute sum of all the absolute deviation from the mean x bar divided by n this is for population we are going to first of all find the mean of this data which is mean which is the sum of all the data we have divided by the number of data and this will be equal to 8 plus 8 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 all divided by 5 so if we add this together i believe 12 plus 8 is 20 uh, 9 plus 11 is also 20 20 plus 20 is 40 plus 10 is 50 so this is equal to 50 divided by 5 and this is equal to 10 so the mean x bar is equal to 10 for this distribution for mean deviation we are going to apply this formula for on group data we say 8 minus the mean which is x bar 10 we take the absolute value we add the second one which is 9 minus 10 absolute value plus 10 minus 10 in absolute form plus 11 minus 10 in an absolute form and the last one which is 12 minus 10 in an absolute form all divided by the number of times we have there which is 5 8 minus 10 is negative 2 in an absolute value is going to be positive 2 plus 9 minus 10 is negative 1 but in absolute form is going to be positive 1 plus 10 minus 10 is 0 we have 0 plus 11 minus 10 is 1 plus 12 minus 10 is 2 all divided by 5 
2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So we have 6 over 5, which is equal to 1.2. So the mean deviation of this set of data is 1.2. But uh, I want to talk about sample. For sample data, you have to subtract 1 from n, uh, which is going to be summation of the absolute form of all the data we have minus our mean, x bar, divided by n minus 1. Uh, this is for sample sample data which is a subset of population so now let us look on to variance and standard deviation for variance there is no way you can find standard deviation without finding variance so variance which is donated as sigma square is equal to uh, the summation of x minus x bar squared all over n for a population o x this is for population o x minus x bar squared over n minus 1 for sample variance so Considering this data we have initially, this is the data we have, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So to find variance of that data, we are going to take each of those terms, we subtract the mean, then we square, we take the summation of all. So the first one we have is 8. We have 8 minus 10, which is the mean. Then we square the terms. We add the second term is 9 minus the mean squared plus 10 minus 10 squared plus 11 minus 10 squared plus the last term which is 12 minus 10 squared. All divided by number of terms which is 5. This is equal to negative 2 squared is positive 4 plus 9 minus 10 is 1 squared is 1. 9 minus 10 is negative 1 squared is positive 1 plus 10 minus 10 is 0 squared is 0. 11 minus 10 is 1 squared is 1. 12 minus 10 is 2 squared is 4 divided by 5. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 4 is 10. So we have 10 over 5, which is equal to 2. So the variance of this set of data is 2. Uh, this is for population variance. And for sample variance, you have to subtract 1 from the n, which in this case, we will have 4. 10 divided by 4 will be our sample variance. So for standard deviation, I told you standard deviation is just the square root of variance so this is the formula for variance so we have so we are going to take the square root of variance which is uh, the square root of the summation of x minus x bar squared over n and this is for population standard deviation for sample standard deviation we are going to take the summation of x minus x bar squared all divided by n minus 1 so since our variance is 2, our standard deviation is going to be square root of 2. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.